Nothing like playing Pokemon in game for once. Let's see what this guy wants. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. Okay, guys. Here's the truth. I'm battling this guy named Pokey Kid three thirty three, and he asked to battle. I met him on YouTube, so I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. So he leads to Jolteon, I leave Uxi. He goes for the Signal Beam right away, and I'm like, whatever, because I know I can take that pretty well unless he gets crit. So I just go for Yon, because that's what Yon Uxi does. And I'm really happy this isn't a Trick Scarf, because if this was a Trick Scarf Uxi. That would have really. It wouldn't really cripple Jolteon. It would just cripple me, really. So, yeah, I set up Stealth Rock as he goes to Butterfree, and then I go for the U turn. Because I don't know. Break its Sash if it has a Sash. And then I go straight to my Tyranitar. Wait, Break its Sash? I don't, I don't even know why I U turn, to be honest. Maybe I should have went for a T Wave. Get that thing T Wave, then switch to. I don't know. Because sleeping Tyranitar isn't that good. So yeah, I go off to my Swampert, because I don't think he can do anything to my Swampert. And, uh, and yeah, he's getting hit by Sandstorm. And... Okay, here's the thing. I did not know that Butterfree can learn Energy Ball. If I did learn that, Mudkip Swampert would have... Well... Swampert doesn't die, but he takes a junk chunk from it, and it doesn't kill, because Butterfree has crap special attack. But yeah, Waterfall does kill the Butterfree, and it's a good thing I didn't, well, not really a good thing, but I don't know. Anyways, he brings in Dorn Queen, his Roserat, and he's obviously going to go for either the Leech Storm Energy Ball, or the rare, the rare occasion of Grass Knot, but I protect that anyways. I'm gonna have to switch out anyways because it's a special defense drop anyways. But might as well get some Sandstorm damage. So yeah, I switch off the Scrambled Egg because my Scrambled Egg can take a Grass Knot pretty well because he resists it and he isn't that heavy. I don't think he's that heavy anyways. I mean, would he? I don't think Scrambled Egg is that heavy. You have to like, stir them and all that stuff. So yeah. He goes for the Leech Seed, as I think it's a switch, because I don't think Rosary can do anything to kill Kisses, I'm not sure. Maybe Sludge Bomb is the best move, really. Or maybe Hidden Power Electric or Ice if it has it, but I think most Rosary have Hidden Power Fire anyways. So yeah, he goes... He gets Leech Seed off, and that's gay. And I predict the switch. I remember that he has Jolteon. And now that he knows I have Thunder Wave, He's gonna. He's not gonna worry about getting Jolteon to T Wave, paralyzed. So, I just go for the Air Slash. If he does switch to Jolteon, which resists it, at least get some damage off. He's like from Stealth Rock, Sandstorm, and Air Slash. That would take a big chunk of his HP off, but Leech Seed will heal him. Which makes me wish I killed Rose Rat off earlier. So, here I predict the obvious electric type move. And switch to Swampert, who, who completely is immune to electric attacks, and I get leftovers. And I go for the Protect here, just to scout out its move if it can do anything to me, because Hidden Power is a very scary thing, and seeing this thing have Hidden Power makes me scared that it's Hidden Power Grass. I do not want to take a chance, so I switch out to my Uxie, because Uxie did its job right now, and I really have nothing to switch out against Jolteon, really. I really have nothing to switch out. So, I'm just gonna go for the Yawn. Because it's really my safest move, really. And Sandstorm and Life Orb is gonna be. be I'm um, racking up damage. And it's, it's not gonna really leave Jolteon in a good position. And due to Sandstorm. Sandstorm and Stealth Rock, Jolteon really can't switch out now. So yeah, I know he's gonna sting me, and I know he's gonna go for the kill, and I know he's gonna kill me, he's gonna me. But this is all for my plan, because I still have a sleeping Tyranitar, and I need to fix that. I really need to fix that. Jolteon is gonna fall asleep, and thankfully Sandstorm doesn't kill it, thankfully. 
So now I have a free switch to my Celebi. He's gonna go for the Aromatherapy to wake up Tyranitar. Yeah. Aromatherapy overleaks you. It's actually very helpful. So yeah. Now he thinks I'm lucky if Absol. I'm like, what, is this thing gonna go for like a Night Slash or something? Cause I can start out with Night Slash, but he goes for the Mega Horn. And he outspeeds me, but I don't think that really matters, cause I think Absol... The Celebi isn't that fast, but he isn't slow either, it's like 100 degrees of speed. So maybe Absol is ready to draw in this, or something, I don't know. Either way, I go up to cheat code, my cheat code, cause I didn't see the left of Leftovers, I didn't see the life orb, so I know this thing is, back, is either Bandit or Scarf, probably Bandit. And yeah, I go for the body slam, predicting the obvious switch. He goes off to Flygon, but doesn't get the Power Axe, which would have been helpful, because then I could have went for the Ice Punch, and taken Flygon out way earlier. But no, instead I have to switch off to my Scrambled Egg, who kind of walls this thing. Kind of, but really doesn't. But yeah, Fire Punch can't take me out again. Even though it's life worth, I'll survive with like 10 HP. And I'm predicting I like, I don't know, I, I'm not predicting anything, I just go for the roots, because I know I can survive anything except for a Dragon Meteor. Because I am special I'm really trained in defense, so I know I can take any hit. Because only Earth can, can, can kill me can kill me. And he's faster, so yeah. I am pretty much all for the goal. Only Dragon Meteor can kill me. Which I don't know he, he has till later. So yeah, he thinks in rolls arrive. I'm not gonna predict the switch this time because now I know he has Flag and also who can take the, the T wave. So I'm just gonna go for the air slash and I take a rolls arrive, which is great because that was my last big direct in my opinion. And now he's gonna bring in Flygon because he's Flygon's faster than everything in my team and stuff. And I mean everything except for my Tyranitar. And I can't switch that out because I'm afraid of Earthquake. So I switch off to Swamp Earth. Just predicting the fire. Well, I don't even know. Just predicting. I know I could let Togekiss die, but I want to save Togekiss as Death Fire for later on. Because it gives me a free switching and all that stuff, so yeah. I go for the book set. Just. Because I know I won't. I know I won't get any damage off him. Because he has left. Um, because he's resisting the sandstorm. But I want to get as much recovery as possible. He goes for U-turn and that does a lot more than I expected it would. But that's because it's life orb. So yeah, he switches off to Absol, which gets hit by stealth rocks, and then it's roared back all the way to flying on. And I'm like, I need a cape. So I'm gonna be gay again and go for the obvious. For the obvious? Protect. It's pretty obvious, because Swampert's gay like that in Sandstorm. He protects, so you take damage from Sandstorm while I don't. Well, he doesn't. And he gets lucky with recovery. That's the way Swampert's played in Sandstorm. The gayest thing ever. But it's how gay things roll. So now, um, I'm just gonna switch out to Toadkiss, getting an Earthquake. And then he's gonna kill me off with Fire Punch, I thought, but... No, he goes for the Draco Meteor, which kill, which is a waste, because all that stab and power brought into Togekiss is really pretty much dead. So yeah. Now I go to my Tyranitar, thinking, yeah, I'm Scarf, I can pretty much get a sweep now. But no, he has Arcanine, which gets Intimidate off. And then he switches off, and I'm like, yes, that means he's, when he gets back in on, uh, when he switches back in, he's gonna be at 50 HP. 50% HP, so yeah, that's great. And he switches to Absol, and because of the Intimidate, I don't quite finish him off. Which is kind of gay. And then he's... He's faster, which just tells me his choice guard, not Bandit, which... Really ticks me off, because I was expecting a switch to Sweep the Tyranitar, because even with... To... To Intimidate bait, I know that this thing can't... I know that Arcanine can't really hit me. So I thought it was my game. But no, if this thing is... So I'm kind of worried about the Arcanine. If this is Life Orb Arcanine, I am totally boned. Because Swampert is in no position to take 
a hidden power grasp the face, and I can't really survive a fire blast or flamethrower from Orc Archimedes Sarachi. But after seeing the will o -Wips and will o -Wisp, and after seeing the leftovers, it's pretty much my game because it's bulky Arcanine. His healing move, Morning Sun, is useless in the sandstorm. So, yeah, and push goes for show, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, which has is pretty safe coverage, I guess, with Flame Thrower, because Flame Thrower Fire Blast, because there's nothing in the game that really resists it. So, yeah, the game will be 33, and see you again. Later.